Faker, welcome back to Blue Line Morphs, guys. I told you we would have Kevin videotape it a little bit. His wife destroyed him about zooming in and out. So if you like the video because of that, I apologize. Let's give Kevin another shot. That being said, guys, I want to do this video for the last Saturday, actually. Got lazy, had some shit to do, guys. Didn't make the video, I apologize. So this should be the second part of that video, kind of talking about these four animals down here and how I've had a project that's been in the making for about three and a half years where I kind of, some of you know the story, but I kind of planned out this whole ordeal that's coming together about three and a half years ago, smoking a cigar with one of my lieutenants on top of a project building. So kind of want to talk about that, at least maybe give some encouragement or some motivation about how to build some of these projects and how it's finally coming to terms. That being said, we did throw some animals in. Um, I already took a look at some of these pairings. I'll show you guys some of the locks we have this week so far. So this is our Aussie Pie boy. He's going to be part of this video. This, he's finally locking up with these two girls here. Get your head out of here, boy. All right, so that is our Pastel ODYB Fire Leopard Pie locking up with one of our big old pie girls at 12 millimeter follicles. Then over here, we, I'm actually pretty excited about this. Damn it, Diesel. I'm pretty excited about this one. This, all right, this is our Keyhole Female. All right, guys, remember the whole keyhole gene I spoke about? That's our confusion boy. So I threw him in there just because I'm really interested to see what happens with confusion and keyhole. Keyhole has that crazy pattern to begin with, and then we all know confusion static and acid does. So interested to see that combination. That's the second time they've been paired together, and the only first time they actually locked. With that being said, guys, this morning, I did ultrasound two of our girls during that stranger project. The two I ultrasound were the high OD yellow Bay fire girl and the OD fire and she clown girl, okay? And I posted on Instagram today, they're both at about 34 millimeter follicles, give or take. So I did get our stranger boy in here with the high OD yellow Bay fire girl. And he, of course, did his thing almost right away. He locks up within seconds. Doesn't like to eat, but he likes the girl. So that'll be the last lock with them. I'll give him about 10 days off. Then I'll throw him over here with OD fire and she clown girl. And that should be the last two locks. I need for those two girls with that. Then we can focus on the other two girls. With that being said, guys, our last video we posted, we talked about some of our holdbacks that we had and how they're doing. With that being said, this row right here, guys, is probably the most important holdback, or the best holdback that we've had of our ball python breeding career. We're actually gonna interrupt uh, a pairing that I kind of threw this male in. It looks like he's actually giving it a shot. So it is what it is. I'm not overly concerned about that. We're gonna talk about everything and how we made this happen. So obviously, I cannot pull out the male or the dad to all these animals. If you guys have following the channel, you've seen this guy a million times. He's over here, right? That pastel OD fire, pastel OD YB fire leopard pod male I got from Ozzy Boyd, okay? Long story short, these are all his, his children. So let's go one by one, show them off to you. We had five eggs. He was, of course, paired to that pastel clown pine, guys. Before I even get into showing them off, let me give you the background story of how this came about. So if you guys remember, I think when COVID was happening, I was delivering for Uber Eats to make extra money. Kev's like this now. Not even moving around. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. He's just... so, so when COVID was happening, I was doing, yeah, see, no zoom. We just move it. There we go. We can focus. All right. Uh, when COVID was happening, I was delivering for Uber Eats. You guys remember, I actually paid for, Uber, I paid for that mail down there about 4,500 bucks with Uber Eats money. I was hustling, doing my thing. Could go out to bars anyway. So I said, fuck it. Get a 12 pack. Drive around with Shelby. It is what it is, right? All right. So, I remember two animals popped up that I had an opportunity to buy. One of which was that male that I bought from Ozzy Boyd. The second one was this girl right here. And I'm just going to pull her out right now, even though I'm trying to get these two to pair, just because it it's, is what it is. This girl right here is my big old pastel clown pie. So, I had the opportunity to pick her up before I discovered that male that I picked up from Ozzy Boyd, okay? I picked her up for pretty much a steal, guys, about five grand two or three years ago, breed ready, passed out clown pie. And I remember getting her, thinking to myself, all right, once I pay her off, I would love to get her going with a nice clown, or et cetera, et cetera. And then I came across that passed out ODYB fire leopard pie from Ozzy. I remember thinking to myself, if I can figure out a way to save up enough money to purchase him and breed it to her, I can make ridiculously a ridiculously powerful male. And sure enough, we did do that, okay guys? So before we show you that male, which you guys have already seen, let me show you the other eggs that we produced from them. So long story short, guys, I remember smoking, smoking a cigar with my lieutenant. I remember coming across this boy and going, fuck, I really like to get that snake. I can make some crazy gangster snakes off of that thing. And he was like, all right, so get it. I was like, yeah, bro, I don't make a lieutenant's salary. He's like, so figure it out. That's exactly what I did. I kind of applied that to all 
to building this this company from scratch here, right? Just figure it the fuck out. So let's take a look at the three sisters. I'll show you the one mail that I pretty much planned on making in 2020, give or take, and what happened with him last week that kind of made a three and a half year journey all come together this season. So let's take a look at, in my opinion, now I had five eggs, okay? I kept four of them. One I, I sold to Mike, M&K Exotics over there in Cali, is in our Patreon. This is one of the sisters right here. She is just a pastel OD, come check her out, kid. She's a pastel OD pied het clown. I figured why not, she's, she's the feistiest one, so just be cognizant of that. Um, she's, I figured why not, we'll hold on to this girl. She's got that little clover type looking head stamp for the OD. I figure we'll hold her back, throw her over there. She's eating like an absolute beast, about 800 grams. Very happy about that. They were born about a year ago, about I think January 5th or 6th. And you know what, they grow really nicely. She's the second of the biggest of the, the three females. I anticipate all three of these girls should be ready to go for the following season, which is really, really big for us. The second girl right here, this girl I was on the cusp of getting rid of originally. Um, and then I'm very happy I kept her. I'll tell you why. I've had some discussion with a lot of people. Off the bat, you know she's super pastel. You know she's fire, right? But then you come look a little closer, right? And these little pixelated things we got going on over here, tell me that she's got yellow belly in her also. But then on top of that, Ooh, she's very, she is not happy. On top of that, she's kind of got this last little uh, saddle going on right here, which I've discovered is pretty indicative of OD. So I actually believe this girl to be a super pastel, orange dream, yellow belly, fire pie, het clown. I believe. You know what we're going to figure it out? When we breed her. She's probably going to get bred to our clown pie male. Just our regular clown pie. Not the brother I'm about to show you into snakes. Just our clown pie. We'll probably get bred to these three just because we'd be kicking out a double recessive, right? And plus we're gonna know exactly what's in them. The last girl, I had originally wanted this to be a male. I'm actually very happy it turned out to be a female. ODYB Leopard Pied Het Clown. Now she is the biggest one of the four that I kept. She's about a thousand grams. Again, I anticipate her ready to go next season. I anticipate her getting some locks in there come November, October time. Very happy with her, gorgeous snake. Probably my favorite out of the three females, to be completely and totally honest with you. Absolutely stunning. And honestly, the best eater uh, around. So, this male right here, well, I'm interrupting his breeding, but it kind of is what it is. Um, not a big deal. He had his chance the last two days, right? This is the male that we kept back. This is our stud, all right? There's been some speculation on if he's got pastel in him. I don't believe he has pastel, because if you look at the dad real quick, that right there, they're not locked anymore. I don't think they're locked anymore. They're not locked anymore. I'll pull them out. Check Pops out. This is the Pastel ODYB Fire Leopard Pie. This is his dad. Now, if you look, the Pastel really dulls out the color. Yes, you can make the argument he's two and a half years old and he's only about a year old, but you can tell that there is a difference between these two animals. Kev, disagree? Agree? Agree. Agreed. All right. So I believe some people have said that he's got Pastel on him. I don't think he does. What I believe him to be is ODYB Fire Leopard Pie. I think he's pretty much everything I could possibly want to hit in this, this pairing, leaving Pastel out of it, which I'm absolutely ecstatic about, okay? Definitely ODYB. I, def I think there's fire in there, and that's why he's so light. I wouldn't think there'd be more white in a fire pie. However, you know, there's an exception to the rule, and I think that was driving him to be such, um, not be so vibrant and orange like the sister right here. If you look here, we know she's ODYB, okay? Look at the difference here. You see how bright, the different color he is to her? I believe that's because he's got fire in him too. You know what? We're going to figure it out this season, guys. So, let's, let's, um, let's talk about what I just went through right there. So, long story short, 2020, came up with the idea that if I can find a really powerful male to go to my pastel clown pied female, which turned out to be the pastel ODYB fire leopard pied, if I had raise him up, have a clutch, and produce a male like this, I can really set myself apart when it comes to the clown pie stuff. Right now, you're starting to see people produce ODYB clown pie. Far and few between. All the big name guys are doing it. And I believe I will be right with them this season. Obviously, this season they're breeding right now. They're probably breeders that are doing it, and they're setting themselves apart. But that being said, this season, I believe I'll be producing some ODYB fire pies, clown pies, etc., etc. At least have the opportunity to. As you guys know, I have been talking a lot here. As you guys know, I've been struggling trying to get some of these males to pair up. Then sure enough, guys, this past week, we finally got our first lock. 
Even though it's a super pastel girl, I'm still very happy it's a double visual. This girl right here is my unicorn, guys. You guys remember her? She's a snake to be a year to pay off. She is that killer leopard clown pied female. She's in that 12 or 13 millimeter follicles. We finally got our boy here to figure out what he's doing and to lock up with her. I'm hoping he goes to at least her. We plan on bringing him to the pastel clown pie, the leopard double head clown pie, and the GHI Mojave double head clown pie. That's the plan for this year. But long story short, last week we finally got a lock with these two, which makes about a three and a half year, a three year journey complete. All right, guys, two generations of snakes, an animal that I planned out in 2020, smoking a cigar in the projects. And finally produced him, and now I got him paired up to a double visual clown pied female. So that's a project that I'm very excited about, very proud of. It's been a long time coming, and I pray to the odds gods that we hit some nice double visuals with all these genetics that we got in him. Kind of broke him up from at least. Oh, he's going right back in there. Look here. There you go. What's up, mama? Quite, quite, Lily, mama. Baby. Get it in, bud. All right, give him some privacy. So, guys, that is a pairing. That is a snake. That is the second pairing that I've had planned out for about three years. Very excited about it. And I truly believe that our Clown Pie project will be right there with the top of them after this season. Um, pretty happy about that. With that being said, guys, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Huge shout out to Kev. Tell him. Sugar Skull Serpents, Instagram. Gang, gang, baby. Gang, All right. Gang, gang. Appreciate you guys watching. Shout out to all my Patreon people. We're growing nicely. Um, listen, love this community, guys. Love you guys. Be safe. Watch your six.